720, c. 1986 Atari Games. 720 is a one- or two-player arcade game with players taking on the role of a skateboarder, and must perform various tricks and maneuvers to earn the points and tickets needed to compete for medals in the game's numerous skate parks. The bulk of the action takes place in a skate city, a small urban area made up of ramps, jumps and hazards. Players can skate anywhere they wish as they perform the tricks and jumps needed to reach the score thresholds that will earn them entry tickets to Skate City's skate parks to compete for medals and cash prizes. Each score threshold must be reached and a park entered within a tight time limit. Failure to do so sees the skater pursued by a swarm of bees and the word skate or die appear. Should the bees touch the skater before he enters a park, the game ends. Skate City's roads and pavements are populated with moving traffic and pedestrians and any collision with them will result in the skater being knocked from his board, costing the player precious seconds. The parks themselves each feature one of four different disciplines, slalom, jump, downhill, and ramp. Each park has a timer and players can earn either a bronze, silver or gold medal, together with a cash prize depending on how quickly the park is completed. If the park target score or finish line is not reached before the timer expires, no medal or money is awarded. Money one can be used to buy equipment upgrades from the stalls that litter Skate City. Players can buy upgraded boards, helmets, pads and shoes. Boards give faster speed, helmets allow for more risky maneuvers, pads give a faster recovery from falls and shoes provide more height on jumps, as well as giving a quicker standing start. At the start of each new game, players can select from one of two play modes. Training level is available for beginners and gives players numerous playing hints and tips. Experienced level is more challenging as well as offering fewer hints. It does, however, include the add a coin feature, which allows for awards and items already won to be carried over to a new game. The main objective is to compete in as many skate parks as possible. There are numerous city hazards to be avoided, such as BMX riders, cars, frisbee throwers and other skaters. To guide the player around Skate City are map tiles. Riding over one of these will temporarily pause the action and display the layout of the city, including the locations of the skate parks and equipment stalls. 720 features 10 class levels which determine the degree of difficulty in the skate parks and the timer in the city streets. Each of the four skate parks is graded in difficulty, ranging from 1, easiest, to 4, hardest. By using the add a coin option available in the advanced game mode, players can keep any special skate equipment they have acquired in the previous game, as well as all accumulated cash, tickets, points and medals. From Atari Games The Ultimate Aerial Experience Superior graphics and animation for more player involvement Realistic skateboard action lets players attempt daring maneuvers. Players select where they want to skate making each game a different experience. New rotary controller allows full directional and circular motions. Contemporary cabinet design with new 25 inches higher resolution monitor. 8 inches audio speakers to highlight the custom music scores, sound effects, and speech. Add a coin feature keeps players in the action. 720 has all the thrills and skills of real skateboarding with both freestyle and competitive action. A totally unique game format challenges players to become champion of the skating world. Start by skating to a skate park to select difficulty. Perform skate maneuvers in the city to earn tickets to get into a skate park. The ramp is one of over 20 skate parks. By definition, a 720 is one of the most daring moves attempted only by the best, where the skater does a full 720 degree twist while soaring through the air. In 720 comma the game, players can attempt to perform this move without bodily injury. This is only part of the fantasy world of 720. Dot. Unique action and game format. The player portrays the skater who must earn the right to compete in the skate parks of the city and ultimately win the title of champion of the skating world. 
The action starts with the player in the middle of Skate City, where all surfaces are skatable, a skateboarder's dream world. The player earns tickets by performing skillful skate maneuvers in the city. These tickets allow him to enter the skate parks where he competes against the clock fought gold, silver or bronze medals. Cash prizes are awarded to the skater if he qualifies for a medal. After the skate park competition, the game continues back in the city for more freestyle action. Numerous hazards and obstacles create a busy scenario in the city, and the skater has a limited time to get to another skate park. Players can use their cash winnings to buy skating equipment from various skate shops throughout the city. Boards will give the player faster speed. Helmets allow more risk-taking for successful maneuvers. Pads give faster recovery from falls. Shoes provide better height on jumps and quicker starts. New controls Players' controls consist of a rotary controller which allows full circular and directional movement. A kick button keeps the player skating, and a jump button is used to catch air for higher points. Anything goes in this game, as players learn to make incredible skate maneuvers. More visual and audio entertainment. 720 has a new 25 inches higher resolution monitor for better graphics and animation than ever before. Plus, 8 inches speakers highlight the custom music, sound effects and speech, making the player feel like he's tight there in the action. Operator Features 720 is equipped with the comprehensive self-test and statistics package on all recent Atari games products. Operator difficulty adjustments are also provided by four different option switches. Special Game Features In 720 players create their own game action as they select where they want to skate. Players will find map areas in the city which will momentarily display the layout of the city and the skate park locations. Players can select the class level in which they want to compete. At the start of each game, players skate towards one of four skate parks which vary in difficulty from novice to pro. As the game progresses players automatically advance to the next level. Players can compete on over 20 skate parks, each requires a different skill. There are variations of a half-pipe ramp, a downhill, a slalom and a jump park. The city is filled with hazards which the player must avoid, including, street traffic, BMX spikers, skater gangs, and frisbee throwers slash, an Atacoin feature lets players stay in the action and keep any special skate equipment acquired. Technical Game ID, 136047 Runs on the Atari System 2 hardware Players, 2 control, circular rotating joystick buttons, 2 equals, 1, kick, 2, jump. The cabinet for this game was unique at this time. The speakers for the game are mounted atop the cabinet in a structure resembling a boombox, in line with the game's skate kit theme. The display is larger than that for a typical arcade game and of a very high resolution, similar to that used for Paperboy. The main control is also unique. This joystick moves in a circular fashion, instead of in compass directions like standard joysticks. Dimensions Height, 74.0 in 188 centimeters width 27.5 in 70 centimeters depth 38.0 in 97 centimeters trivia 720 was released in december 1986 2 265 units were produced in the usa the selling price was two dollars 995 720 is notable in that it is one of the first extreme sports video games. The game's name comes from the ultimate skateboarding trick, turning a full 720, two complete circles, in the air after jumping off a ramp. Ron Perelman holds the record for this game with 527, 100 points on June 17, 1987. Soundtrack Album Releases that's Atari Music Vol. 2 GSM Atari Games 2, PC CB 00070, September 21, 1991, Pony Canyon, Citron. That's Atari Music Vol. 2 GSM Atari Games 2, Reprint, SCDC 00314, 
December 3, 2003, Citron Discs. Tips and Tricks. Develop skill in using the rotary control in conjunction with the jump button to do aerial moves, because they are worth more points. Press the jump button after gaining speed, and then rotate the control in a 360 degree motion. In this game, it is possible to do much more than just a 360 degree turn. When attempting certain aerial or rotational moves, it is important to be properly aligned on landing, otherwise the skater bails, or falls down. To qualify for medals in the higher classes of skate parks, it is best to try to buy some skate equipment first to allow players to perform harder moves. Daring players should try to wait out the timer in the streets, performing skate moves and acquiring points until the timer is about to expire. In the ramp park, a good trick is to constantly push the kick button and do skid outs at the top of each side of the half pipe. To do this, get to the lip of the ramp, hold the stick parallel with the lip, and stop pressing kick. This will cause you to grind and skid down the ramp. You will be awarded big points at the lip and at the base of the ramp. This procedure may be repeated over and over for some incredible, effortless, high scores. Don't forget to visit the skate shops. Do not underestimate what a new board and shoes do for you. Buying new equipment allows you to move faster, jump farther, recover faster, and pull off more tricks. In the ramp section, levels 8, 9, and 10, holding down the kick and jump button simultaneously on the lip of the ramp will boost your air. This trick only works when you're going the correct speed, usually your third or fourth jump, and only once, as far as I can tell, per ramp session per level. The entire game should focus around the session's skate park, the blue park in the right quadrant of the play field. Making multiple passes through this park will greatly increase your scores. Remember to keep jumping and spinning. A good game should leave you feeling completely exhausted. Staff Software, Game Design, John Salwitz Playfield, Game Design, Dave Ralston Software, Paul Quinn Technical Assistance, Robro Animation, Sam Comstock, Will Noble, Mark West Audio, Brad Fuller Music, Hal Cannon, Earl Vickers Control Design, Jack Cannon Game Design, Milt Loper Hardware Support, Gary Stempler with invaluable support from, Dave Cook, Dennis Harper, Russell Daw, Rusty, Jess Melcher. Ports. Consoles, Nintendo NES, US, November 1989, 720, Model NES 72 USA, Sony PlayStation, US. September 30, 1999, Arcade Party Pack, Model Sluice 00952, Sony PlayStation, EU. February 23, 2001, Arcade Party Pack, Model Sluice 02339, Sega Dreamcast, US. November 15, 2001, Midway's Greatest Arcade Hits Vol. 2, Model T9714N, Sony PlayStation 2. U.S., November 18, 2003, Midway Arcade Treasures, Model Sluice 20801, Microsoft Xbox, U.S., November 24, 2003, Midway Arcade Treasures Nintendo GameCube, U.S., December 18, 2003, Midway Arcade Treasures, Model Doll Gate USA, Microsoft Xbox, EU, February 6, 2004. Midway Arcade Treasures Sony PlayStation 2, EU, February 6, 2004, Midway Arcade Treasures, Model Sluice 51927, Microsoft Xbox 360, US, November 6, 2012, Midway Arcade Origin Sony PlayStation 3, US, November 6, 2012, Midway Arcade Origins, Model Blues 31083, Microsoft Xbox 360, EU, November 15, 2012, Midway Arcade Origins Sony PlayStation 3, EU, November 15, 2012, Midway Arcade Origins, Model Blues 01768, Handhelds, Atari Lynx, Unreleased Prototype, Nintendo Game Boy Color, US, 1999, 720, Model DMG AA7 USA, 
Nintendo Game Boy Color, EU, 1999, 720, Model DMG AA7P Yurt, Sony PSP, US, December 3rd.